Okay, <clears throat> next thing we're going to do is set up to measure the, the, um, the height of the tower using similar triangles. And the similar triangles are going to be established by me and the distances we know and a mirror. Okay, so let's take a look over here. I, I'm, I'm keeping the camera over there so you can get a picture for the whole, the whole setup, but you're just going to have to take it on faith if you can't tell from there. This item right here is a mirror, and on the mirror I have drawn a, a magic marker line, a black line. And I've got it set up just right, I think, so that as I stand here at the edge of the table, we know the distance from the tower to the edge of the table. And if I do a really good job of lining up my, my uh, line of sight, my eyesight, at the, also at the edge of the table, right? My body's right here, and I'm keeping, it, keeping my eye in just the right spot that's directly, you know, straight up from the edge of the table. So I've got a, a right triangle right here, and I'm looking down at the um, mirror glass, right? And if I can see the top of that tower touching the, um, the magic marker line on the mirror. And if I, if I couldn't, I'd either need to move the mirror back and forth. If I've got my, my eye positioned in just the right spot, so it's a certain height, I can go here and look and see oops, that it is, uh, I would say, 74 centimeters from the top of the table, 74 centimeters from the top of the table to where my eye is, the center of my eye, okay? And then, so that makes this height over here 74 centimeters. The distance would be this, this distance here to the center of the mirror, which is somewhere around, I, I'll have, I'm not gonna do, see, I'm not gonna do the numbers for you this time. I'm just gonna explain it and show you, you'll have to figure it out on your own when you do it. But the center of the mirror is um, somewhere around 80 centimeters. So from the edge of the table to the center of the mirror, to that line on the mirror is 80 centimeters, right? That also means that the cent that line is, say, uh, 43 centimeters from the point underneath the tower, right? So we've basically what we've done, uh, well, here's the other thing that's important to know. Mirrors have an interesting feature. If I'm looking down here and my, my line of sight, the, these light rays are coming in at a certain angle, they reflect off at the exact same angle. So I've got two triangles that have this angle right here the same. I've also got those same two triangles with a 90 degree angle the same out here. So I've got two similar triangles, right? And if I can figure out a ratio between my height and this distance versus the other distance, I can calculate that other height, right? It's a simple ratio, right? So let's take a look at that. <clears throat> Here we have a beautiful diagram for your, for your edification. Here's a, a particularly nice drawing of Mr. Street uh, looking down from the edge of the table to the mirror and then the line of sight from the mirror back up to the top of the tower. The distance I have here from the edge of the table to the center of the mirror, I know that distance because I can just read it off the meter stick. The other distance I can calculate by subtracting it from the known distance. I haven't moved my tower. The known distance from the edge of the table to the bottom of the tower. And then I can set up a ratio, as you see there, where the height of uh, the one triangle in relation to the distance is equal to the height of the tower in relation to the, to the second distance. All right? Pretty simple calculation. It helps a lot that the mirror has that aspect of um, those two angles being equivalent, okay? So that's the way you do the mirror method. All right, here is the last um, measurement system. And this one <clears throat> also depends on uh, similar triangles. What I have here is a light setup. Hold on one second, I'm gonna 
going to kill this other light, maybe make it a little more obvious. Sorry. Okay. I, and now, if we could go outside and use the sun, that'd be better. And we might try to do that. The good thing about my setup right at this moment is that um, I know this distance already. That tower is still sitting in the same spot. I still know the distance from the uh, edge of the table. And if I look really carefully right there, I can see how that shadow lines up with the, um, the, the ruler. So I should be able to judge the length of the shadow based on knowing how far it is from the, the center of the base of the tower out to this mark right here, right? That's good. So we so we can know the length of the shadow of the tower. And this isn't perfect, but if we put take a known object, an object of a known height, and measure the length of its shadow right there, right? Well, we can figure it out easy enough. The length of the shadow there, right? I didn't take away the mirror. Hold on. Make this a little better without the mirror. <clears throat> we do like that. We can see right there where that shadow falls, get a length of that shadow, and we should be able to come close based on similar triangles, right? Um, I, I'm going to try, if, if the sun will cooperate, I'm going to try to do an example of the shadow method, the real shadow method outside with the sun, but for the time being, um, this will show you how you can do it. If you have a nice bright flashlight like that one um, and a dark room, it doesn't have to be totally dark, darkened room is good enough. And you can then set that light up so it is outside the zone of exclusion, but it can shine a light through that zone, it's clear, and we can get a length of this shadow and do the same thing with this other known length. This is actually not a foot long ruler. It's, I mean, it's ostensibly a foot, but there's a little tiny bit on each end longer than a foot. So you would need to take that into your, you know, figure out exactly how long the, the piece of metal is, even though the little uh, graduations end maybe uh, uh, 3 sixteenths of an inch or, uh, or so, maybe an eighth, a little less than an eighth of an inch actually, um, then, then uh, they, the metal's a little tiny bit longer than the graduations. You should figure that out as part of your calculation. Do a ratio, you know, the height of the shadow, the height, I'm sorry, the height of the object is, you know, is to the length of the shadow in this, the same way in both it sets up similar triangles. Okay, and if I can, if the sun will cooperate, I'll go out and do a measurement there with some, with some other things, um, see how well that works. All right, so here I am outside of the school and I have found uh, a nice pole sticking up here, uh, a no park reserve parking sign. Of course, it's a little uh, <clears throat> a little useless right now since they parked the portables right here in the spot. But anyhow, then we've got a um, a lamp post, a bit taller, and the sun keeps playing hide and seek with the clouds. But what I did was, well, I came out when the sun was bright and I stuck a screwdriver in the ground at the end of each shadow. So the end of the shadow for the uh, lamppost is right here. Right about there. And the end of the shadow for the signpost is hiding in the grass here somewhere. Where did it go? There it is. There's the end of the shadow for the for the signpost. So now, now that the sun's going to hide behind the clouds, the shadow's not so obvious anymore. Maybe it'll come back out in a second, we can see it again. But I'm gonna go ahead and measure the height of this lamp post. And let's see if I can do this one-handed. I might be able to get it. Oh yeah, look at that. Okay. So that's hooked on the top of the lamp post. And we go down here to the bottom. This says it's about, right about 110 inches. Okay, 110 inches for the height of the lamp post. And then we'll hook it on here. And 
we should get okay it says 131 inches for a length of shadow so 110 to 131 and the length of this shadow we'll see if we can get it okay oh I may need the other I probably need the other measuring tape don't I uh, yeah I will let me get the other measure <clears throat> I have a longer measuring tape because I'm pretty sure that that other one won't be quite enough oh look at that boy look at that beautiful shadow isn't that great there you go the Sun came out there's the shadow there and there is the shadow there okay you can really see them them stand out against the grass right now can't you that's just great okay let me uh I'm just testing out here to make sure I've got the right the right end of the shadow. This should be it right there. Okay. Hopefully we didn't mess it up by by moving it. Okay. So I'll go over here and hook hook the tape on this guy. See if it'll stay there. Maybe on this side, if I'm lucky. I'm sorry. I've almost got it. So you can see. Stretching out the tape. Okay. That says 30.1 feet or uh, actually 30, that looks like 30 feet 1 inch. 30 feet 1 inch. Okay. And the other one was 110 to uh, 100, shoot, 13, right? 110 to 113 inches. I did not move that screwdriver. Double check that. Okay. Oh, I'm sorry, 131. 110 to 131. Okay, that's great. Then we'll uh, I'm gonna leave the calculations to you. You tell me how tall that lamppost is to the very top.